Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the second video we got for you today. But first, a word from our sponsors. Hey guys, I refuse to close all of my tabs when I'm gaming and when I'm playing, and I've switched to Opera GX, and it has run so much more smoother because it is better customized for it. It has so many features for gamers. Look at this, a release calendar. Here's Star Wars Dark Forces is coming out. It'll show you some demos that you can play, the games that are currently free right now, deals aggregator on big name games, but here is why you should use it. Check this out. Yeah, there's a CPU limiter, there's the RAM limiter. If you're gonna have all of these things open, you can make sure that it's not impacting your video gaming. And it also has integrated Discord, integrated Twitter. Boom! Integrated chat GPT. Like Bam! OJ likes asking chat GPT weird yeah, questions. Yeah, like you could ask it best recipe for salmon in your dishwasher. I just added chat GPT now. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard is you it say. <laughs> Please do not do cook salmon in your dishwasher. Instead, Acid. download Opera GX, the browser for gamers, and it supports directly our channel. It's completely free to mm -hmm. you. Download using our link down below, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Guys, if you're a gamer, you need to try the browser Opera. It's free. No reason not to. Too it's many something. tabs open. I know. I'm, it, I refuse to close. Go to open. Task Manager and look up what your okay. RAM usage is right now when you're using Chrome. And yeah. It's too damn I much. I used Chrome all throughout, and then I, I was like, I, it's so painful. It's like inconvenient, but it's not really. There's Just a quick, download it, boom, you're There's done. a quick transition. They've got tools to help you migrate everything over. Super easy. So, uh, AJS News, um, <laughs> we have lots of videos uh for you coming uh shogun we're gonna do some reviews are here very good for uh things about that still working on skull and bones for y'all um hmm. have y'all seen spaceman no i watch all avatar though can y'all watch maybe spaceman at some point try to get a little quick little thing out uh for that and then uh halo season uh halo episode six coming on thursday looking forward to, to that and uh yeah we'll just keep cranking them out for you guys so uh, thank you all so much obviously suicide squad review is out and so check that out and uh what what else has been going on in gaming news alan combining your two favorite things in the entire world yes warhammer, uh, warhammer and call of duty you fucking asshole <laughs> oh. no now i'm gonna have no. to fucking play call of duty are you telling me they're bringing Space Marines? Uh, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw <laughs> leaked videos of a motherfucking Space Marine, mm. and I'm like, yeah, that's one of the better skins. I don't give a shit. I mean, it looks goofy because they're not nine, eight feet tall, which they should be, but I mean, I'm because they're in Call of I'm Duty, you can tell they're nutless. I, I'm a sucker. I would get if there. I hope there's a Sister of Battle. Is there, there a yeah. Sister of Battle? Apparently, Sisters of Battle. It's hot. Yeah, and and uh, Astro Helmetless. So I want a helmetless sister of battle. I wish they had options where you just like to keep your helmet up, keep your helmet down. I don't think they'll go that. You have to down. go to Fortnite for that level of customization and care with the, the who else is in it. So oh, Space I mean, Marines, uh, King Kong, Godzilla, Nicki Minaj are definitely in there. You what I don't give a fuck Snoop, about those. Snoop, Snoop Lion. <laughs> Wait, King Kong? Apparently, no, they oh, got no, new that was the, out. you know where you get, the kaiju's are fighting oh. or whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 you're not. King Kong. You don't drop on the battlefield as King Kong. That'd be sweet. Yeah, You'd be a little, little, little King Kong and you just look well, like... Well, why not? Like, the Marines are shorter. Yeah. Astro Militarum. All right. Yeah. I'm going to get some Imperial Adeptus Guard. Adeptus Astartes, <clears throat> uh, Space Marines, Adeptus Sororitas, and Astro Militarum, among others, according to this one. Mm. Uh, what I didn't see, and I looked, uh, is a specific date for release. I just keep seeing soon. So I don't have a date for you right now. Okay, um, soon. Probably the end of March, maybe. So, yeah, this looks. This post I'm looking at right now is March 1st is when they teased it. Mm -hmm. But there's already leaks and stuff, so. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, boys, we will be going back to the war zone but what when has that changed comes out. in the war zone? Nothing. Besides well, I, I'm sure there's been some things uh, that have changed. We'll, Actually, we'll discover know. that when we okay. play as Space Marines That's... and Sisters of Battle. Maybe it's still the same where you just sit on a roof and because sniper rifles were nerfed because people don't know how to duck, uh, you just win if you're on a roof forever because you can't ever kill anybody. Yeah, well, a lot of the gaming is about um, having height advantage. So yeah. that's one tip for Oof. you guys. Not Make sure me. you are always have the height advantage. That's that way in Apex. Do. And it's that way in uh, Call of Duty. And so... 
tips, tips, tips you, and tricks. If you're looking for 40k crossovers um, that yes. uh, that aren't Call of Duty, give me power more. wash simula- simulator. Give me more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, has an expansion that lets you clean various vehicles from nice. the 41st millennium. Now that's the kind of wackiness I like. Yeah, uh, that game. Look, y'all can play. That I have a power. I have a power washer, and it is fun to use for, yeah. as far as chores go around yeah. the house. Power wash around the house. You're up in your house. <laughs> Water everywhere. <laughs> Both the driveway, the yeah. fence, the yeah. old patio furniture. Oh yeah, you've got the the stone pavers. Around the house. Yeah, <laughs> but, but that's around, 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 around the inside. Of no, the house. no, around the outside. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're just addicted to power washing everything. Yeah. So it is. It can be zen, so to speak. It's not fun, but it you know it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it it can be a good time, and it's always like on sale and cheap. So if you're looking at some more 40k stuff, and you don't want to deal with screaming 12 year olds, um, then maybe check out Power Wash Simulator. Okay. Uh, Rockstar has mandated a return to office five days a week. It's a new policy is going to take effect in April to increase productivity and security, uh, both of which are down across the board, according to the higher Productivity ups. and security down across the board. Well, I can agree with their security because they've been having leaks and, and yeah. motherfucking's, uh, you know, sons are posting the game. Yeah. And so the, the the issue with work at home is – the a lot of these companies they look at some of the productivity especially when they've got long uh you know long cases of people working at the company they're like hey when you were in the office you'd you'd work and you get this many stuff done now that you're home you're you're getting like half of the stuff done but then there's also people that are just trying to take advantage of the fact that they're paying rent on these buildings and i want your ass here yeah so it's a complicated thing because workers don't want to go into the office especially those who are busting their ass at home just as much as they were going to the office but these companies like to point to a select shitty few that are kind of ruining it for everybody. Mm. So, Usually what happens. So what they're saying is the productivity is, is down across the board and they mm. want those people back. It's crunch time. Probably one of the biggest games. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, GTA five was the biggest, one of the biggest games of the decade. And so they're this hoping one, six is going to be, be is, is going to be about that, that, about that size. So, um, bigger, bigger, um, so they, they need they need people there. And yeah. they, they want people's sons to stop rec- stealing files from dad's PC and putting it on the internet for clout. Because um, that's stupid. It is. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, Nintendo has filed a lawsuit against Yuzu. Um, it's an emulator. Um, it's also a delicious flavor. I was Jeez, just about to say. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, it's, it's how we were referencing uh, emulators <laughs> yeah, for quite a, quite a long time. time yeah. <laughs> uh, the Nintendo says that the emulator was at fault for an, uh, an early pirated release version of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, claiming that it had been uh, pi- like pirated a million times. Mm-hmm. Um, Nintendo doesn't play nice with anybody. Not even its consumers. Remember the Joy-Con drift thing that they swept under the rug and you still can't get like replacements without sending your whole thing away for it? Okay, that's a different news story. Um, still. But... Nintendo Japan jerks. Nintendo America, awesome, down-to-earth people. Yeah. So uh, I'm cor- talking to corporations, at least my interactions with them. Mm-hmm. They say, with Yuzu in hand, nothing stops a user from obtaining and playing unlawful copies of virtually any game made for the Nintendo Switch, all without paying a dime to Nintendo or any of the hundreds of other game developers and publishers making and selling games for the Nintendo Switch. Um, and so they're just saying, look, look, you don't have the right to exist because there's no way to use your platform legally because we own the, the rights to everything being run on that. Now, people will always say, well, I bought the game. I would like to play it in 4K. I paid you the money. I got a big old TV. And your games are made for a screen that's this fucking big that came out, I don't know how many years ago, and sometimes it looks like garbage. And so they want to emulate that on a big screen. Uh, how many people are doing that versus just not paying Nintendo? I don't know. That's for the court to figure out. Yeah. It's probably, probably more than <coughs> the other group that Nintendo's saying. But we'll just have to see. Um, a Yuzu emulator developer has responded, but there, it's, you know. They don't, we did nothing wrong. No, I don't know. We yeah. did <laughs> So, um, they have responded to the lawsuit. The the publisher used the. Let's see what what is their thing. They have said uh, they acknowledge the lawsuit and they said that they're working with their lawyers, but they've yet to provide an official statement based on like the legitimacy yeah. of all those things. So, um, kind of sucks if you're if you're big on emulating and uh, playing video games the way that you want to play them. This isn't good. What are you going to use now? 
someone else will <laughs> pop up in their place. It's kind of how, kind of the way that, that it yeah. always works. Uh, EA, uh, lots of EA stories. E- okay, our old friend EA. Let me guess: greed, money, profit. Uh, the bottom line. Yeah. So they have shut down Ridgeline Games. So uh, the new single-player Battlefield campaign is set to continue with some Ridgeline employees reportedly <laughs> joining Ripple Effect. So um, this whole single-player campaign. Ridgeline Games gone. Yeah. And so Another be- one bites the some- dust from EA. Battlefield's in, in a spot, right? Apparently it has gotten better. Um, Battlefield franchise is in a pickle. I think yeah. we can all agree, except yeah. for the people that are like, no, nah, it's good now. Like, bro. Do you think those are Stop the... coping. I mean, maybe. Maybe it is good now, but that doesn't mean the damage has not been done. Do you think if those are the same people, like in the Venn diagram, which is actually just a circle of the same people that were telling us how good Suicide Squad was, yeah. the entire time yeah. we streamed it, you yeah, guys are dumb. Four, this game's amazing. The 400 players? Oh, I can't wait to it, look this up. It's got guns. This yeah. Steam different guns. Charts. Suicide Squad. <laughs> Let's give it a little C Maybe it's here. Maybe up. 395. <laughs> so less than 400 people. We have now. That's a big peak. Though. We have now reached sub 400. They hit, We're in the 300. They hit 65 people total last week, um, which was exciting. Bro, yeah, you're not joking. That's still here as a statistic. See it there? Tuesday, <laughs> February 27th, 65 players. To be fair, that was at 6 a.m. Yeah, but if you look at it, that exact period of time in Batman Arkham, it's like. 3,000 people yeah, are playing. Yeah, 3,000 so people, people were playing didn't at 6 a.m. Yeah. So it's not like people didn't want to play video people games. People are playing games at 6 a.m., let me tell you that. Yeah, much. they're just not playing that one. Uh, and so this is a bad thing for, for Battlefield. Like, I I shit on Battlefield because I think you should shit on Battlefield because what they've been putting out is not good enough. But I want that franchise to live on. Not necessarily under dice, but I mm. want the franchise to live on. I want... Like bad company to come back. I want those passion, the, the passionate people making bad the company game. Bad company three, yeah, yeah, with Levolution and all this other stuff coming. And it would be nice. And so uh, this does suck that they're, we're, get, we're losing an entire company over the fact that the gaming industry is kind of in a rough spot right now. I just have to hope that whoever uh, Ripple Effect and the other people working on the game have some sort of plan because uh, Call of Duty's not doing great either. And I'm not. I, I just don't, don't have a plan. I don't have a shooter that I want to play at all right now they've also decided to cut five percent of their overall workforce so they're moving away from future license ip in order to double down on owned ip sports and online communities and that means the money makers yeah those are the big money makers it also means that uh respawns uh how how do they the mandalorian led first person shooter title that was in development has been canceled Oh, my God. We just talked about that, too, recently. We just was, like, excited. We're like, You're oh, like, oh man, yeah, it's going to be a good one. And then, nope. you customize That's it. not going to make Your money. We need to make more money. That won't make money, says EA. We need to make sure all of these people are fired because it costs too much money to make a game that will not bring us profit. Enough profit. Because yeah, there's no money. doubt that the game would sell. But for EA... They don't want to pay these employees. They don't want to keep the 670 jobs that they just fired people from uh, in order to make these games because it won't make enough money. Oh, my God. They're restructuring. And then what's great about this, and I tweeted about this earlier, is he puts the blame on you guys. It says... Accelerating, <laughs> we're restru- the restructuring. Andrew Wilson said the restructuring is in response to accelerating industry transformation, where player needs and motivations have significant have changed significantly. Because your games suck. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's like, you suck. Because you suck. <laughs> uh, he's he's basically uh, that's code for uh, players want more live. I think players want more live service no. and less of the games that they want. And so we're going to get rid of the games that they want, like a first person uh, Mandalorian <laughs> Star Wars RPG. Um, and he says part of the restructuring is moving away from future development of future licensed IP. 
The company has yet to reveal the full scope of teams and projects impacted, but now we have that, and what's what Alex just said. Mm -hmm. And I want to remind you that this is in the middle. Um, we had a new story January in January. Uh, EA Sports FC came out May, and it pushed Electronic Arts to a record 1.7 billion dollars in live service net bookings yep. in the final uh, year-end corner. They're having record net revenue, record net profits, okay? This is not, don't talk to me about all oh, that's just the money. Shut the fuck up. Stop de defending uh, greedy corporations doing fucked up shit, providing no job security to mm. the people that make their games and then just grinding them up and chewing them out. I'm tired of it. I'm fucking tired of it. Guess what? Ele it gets worse. Electronic Arts CEO Andrew Wilson, the same guy that blamed you for all those uh, job losses, he sees in tw uh, two 2023 his pay package rose to rose another 20.7 million. Awesome. His compensation package <laughs> rose uh, to twenty point seven million. That's awesome. Yep. Mm -hmm. So his pay is up. <clears throat> Record profits. His pay is up. Let's go ahead and let's cancel the uh, Mandalorian first person shooter. Fire, let's re let's get rid of Ridgeline Games, which just opened up in twenty twenty two, and let's cut a bunch of uh, of jobs. Six hundred seventy people is the number. Of it's people not that enough fired. money. It will never be enough money, and we're gonna always get this. We're gonna always yeah. get you know. So if you work in at EA, you have to be very very careful. You have to just plan ahead because you will lose your job at some point. Well, I do have some good news. So respawn. So part of the reorganization. Respawn is going to shift focus. Um, so they are planning, uh, reportedly planning a shift towards massive communities, live service games, and large open world games. Um, what? Yeah. So that's what Respawn is going to be focused on. Massive communities, live service games, and large open world games. So can't wait. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. You lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> a heavily hyped project headed by Amy Henning, codenamed Ragtag, was first retooled, let me remind you, uh, and ultimately canceled in 2019. So we don't yeah. get that one anymore. And that same year, in 2019, EA reportedly canceled a Star Wars Battlefront spinoff game called Viking. What that was going to be, we never know. I mean, their their mainline Battlefront games weren't very good, and they tried to sneak in microtransactions <laughs> into that last one that pissed us all off. Mm -hmm. But maybe the spinoff could have got it right. I, know, I guess maybe different factions, maybe Battlefield Underworld maybe could have been cool. I don't know. But that's canceled. We'll never know now. How many of these Star Wars games are coming out and just, like, massively failing? None of them? None of them. So they're just like they make profit, but they like I said, they don't make enough profit. Yeah, but he it's is like moving away from future licensed IPs. Now that's a lie. They're going to keep their Star Wars. Star Wars, but they're going to Je reduce Jedi the amount is of a third, is getting right. A third Star game. Wars Jedi is getting a third game. Yeah. Um, I saw reports that a Star Wars strategy game survived these layoffs, mm. and man, you should see the thread. Everybody's like, "What?" They're so fucking pissed that the Mandalorian first person shooter got canceled, and not the sweet. Star Wars strategy. The like, strategy games are boring. Nobody fucking plays it. It's a dead genre. It's like. Fuck are normies problems with strategy? God forbid is, you use I your mean, brain every once in a while. It is a dying genre because we are dinosaurs. We are dinosaurs. and But guess why that one survived? Because strategy games don't cost as much as yeah. your fucking first-person shooters. It's like they so ruined it's my easy game for them to fly under the radar. It's a one. small team of like fucking 10, 15 guys. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm sure that the Star Wars FPS is probably 500 or more. Well, again, like you said as well, he's going to focus more on the sports IP stuff. Sports IP, the stuff they already own, and stuff yeah. they don't have to pay Disney for. Because, I mean, that's, that's the other thing is when they make – Sixty million dollars on the first Jedi. A huge chunk of that goes over to Disney immediately, and they look at that and go, "Wait a minute, I don't but like that." They also that. fucked up hardcore on their original IP, which we did go watch episode one of our news this week. Mm. Immortals of Avium. Yeah. What was it? Over a hundred million dollar budget? No. Well, it was like a hundred and ten because they, I think they, the advertising was over forty million dollars. So it was, it was like a hundred fifty million it's dollar budget, everywhere. and they didn't. Yeah. Yeah. And the game flopped hard. Yeah. You don't even remember. You don't even remember we talked about it in the first video. Yeah, that game is so I boring, it just, it just fell out of not. your brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, what was the, we, we said his name. Do you remember his name? No, we didn't say his name. I, he didn't remember that? <laughs> we didn't say his name. No, I, I remember saying Dave Franco's twin. Yeah, definitely not Dave Franco. <laughs> is, uh, the... His name was, you said his name, was, main protagonist. The hero protagonist. The hero hero protagonist. That's, protagonist. That's, yeah, that's from yeah. something else, but yeah. Just generic as, as it can be. All right, Sony's laying off 900 PlayStation workers. Uh, <laughs> uh, PlayStation London Studio is going to close, and there's going to be reductions oh, employees at Insomniac and Naughty Dog. This comes right after G- uh, Scumbag and for- well, current but leaving CEO Jim Ryan. Makes more money. Uh, was He visited them and is like smiling. Remember that you see this picture, and he's just like, hey, guess he what? He went it, to the studio. Yeah. He's like, Oh, you just closed on a house? You're having twins? So Great. Th- this motherfucker who's smiling in this picture knew that all these people would be yeah. jobless in one week. Wow. That's that that's that is a piece of shit move right there. It could could it have been that he didn't no, he had to have known. What the he had he's to, a CEO. He, yes, he, he knows everything. He must just think that he's so famous that these people just wanted a picture with me, so I gotta smile because it's a picture. Even though I'm gonna, he's like, out the door, man. He knows he's about to get his, uh, you know, his giant uh, thanks for you know heading up the company paycheck, and he's gonna fuck off to somewhere else, and he doesn't care. So the, what he no. said is the goal is to streamline our resources to ensure our continued success and ability to deliver experiences gamers and creators have come to expect and from what us. What all these companies really mean is we're going to get rid of all these people, replace them with the same people that we cheaper. pay lower, that are cheaper, so that we can continue to drive upward profits for our shareholders Don't and for worry. our next We'll give you a raise. Report. Just stick with us for a couple of years. Game's done. Yeah, just work really out. hard. Game's and done. And you'll rise out. in the ranks, and then you'll get the fuck out when we close that studio of ranks that you rose yeah. in. Yeah. Cool. And this year you said there wasn't a lot of big games coming out. No, right? this for, this is going to be a really rough year for, for Sony because they're not doing any of their mainline no. games. None of the things keep are saying out. that, but there's uh, Rebirth, and then there's Helldivers, too, but then... Yeah. I guess after that. So Helldivers was one they expected to make seven dollars and a Big Mac on, and right. no one they had no idea it was going to be this massive right. success, like a Power and, World. Thing. And the, yeah. yeah, the big one for them is they said that no, there's not going to be any of their their mainline IPs, mm. um, and so that's that's what they're yeah. worried about. There will be no God of War. There'll be nothing else, nothing big like that to prop them up. And, and CEO wants to keep his yacht, so it's like, hey, we got to cut those high. <laughs> yeah, those employees. His yacht is always secured, Joe. He's gonna That's the most important. His second one. That's the most important. Thing. <laughs> yeah, but what about the yacht within the yacht? Yeah. With a helicopter that lands on the yacht. Jeez. Oh, like the Batmobile in, <laughs> yeah. in uh, the Ninja Batman movie? Versus yeah, Robin. the Nolan Batman. Oh, that one? Yeah. <laughs> the little more soccer that comes out of the Tumbler is what it was called. I always hated the name Batman's Tumbler. Um, Daddy. But Sony did report an <laughs> increase in sales for the whole company and its PlayStation division and its latest financial results with net sales for the nine months ended December 31st. To be fair, um, you know. 20, 21.2 yeah. billion. 21.2 billion? Yeah. They, they are, like, it seems like they haven't been making a lot of money or going upward. They've been going downward, though. It's an increase in sales for the whole company. No, so. the video game division. The Sony video game division. That number is including everything across Sony, correct? No, that's for its game and network services division. Mm, That's weird. The reports (coughs) that I've been reading is that Sony... uh, How much Madam Red They really need to be doing some some different... That's a different division. (laughs) That's a a different division. If you guys need money, we give you some money. Let me see if I can... How much do you guys make opening weekend? Uh, I got some lint, $5, and a chewing gum. Yeah. Dune uh, made more. Uh, I think what I'm referring to is the near decade lows game margin, uh, games margin. Yeah, uh, about 10 billion of value was wiped off Sony stock this week. That was February 18th of this year, mm-hmm. after it cut its sales forecast for its flagship PlayStation 5 console. Yeah, that's when they had said that no more. We're going to sell less PlayStations. We're not putting out a major game, and uh, we have no idea what to do with this PSVR 2. Maybe we'll give it to the PC folk. Um, yeah, and so because. The the sales forecasts are being cut for their mainline console. That's bad. And they have always had really, really low margins on each copy sold on the actual games. That's really, really bad. And they're struggling to try to find more margin there. Because, to be honest, Sony is, you know, the old guard. They're holding on to a lot of that old guard stuff. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll see what happened. But, uh, 
I mean, the PS4 sold 117 million consoles. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, that's absurd. And it has some of the like the the, the games, the list of games yeah. that came on. It's just massive. PS5. I Catch mean, it took up. a lot. It, I mean, very slowly. It's at 48 million total uh, total sales. But the catalog of games is is tiny in comparison. Like really fucking small. And so you're just not getting your money's worth out of, you know, you're not going to go wait in line to go get a PS5. No. Yeah. What does that mean for the Xbox Series X and S? Cause you're the PS5, only one I know with an Xbox. I know. PS5 has, uh, I, the only one I know is Angel. Angel. Jacob. Wait a minute. You, does Jacob have Did you Jacob. buy one? No, I didn't buy one. Buy I one? play Jacob Xbox games one? constantly Three on to one. Three to one. PlayStation 5s. <laughs> Three to one. Yeah. So you're saying PS5 hasn't sold nowhere near what PlayStation 4 has sold. Well, guess what? The Xbox Series X and S, yeah, they're three to one. But the game, I'm, I'm they're getting for every game. one of those. There's three PS5s. Yeah, yeah. But they're getting that Game Pass money. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, great. it's just I, I just I you know Xbox a long time ago said nah fuck it you know all of our games are now on PC as well so yeah. you don't really even need the console I never understood it mm. it effectively ended the console war right there well because they're owned by Microsoft you need people to buy PCs on their Windows yeah they're play to play on Windows. Windows but fix your shit it's the worst mm. Game Pass <laughs> runs great on my TV. It's like magic. You're the only one that does that. You're the only one I know that does that. I know it's crazy. More like, it, it's insane. Soon more more will do it. Yeah, you just cloud streaming. It's it's actually really great. I use a PS5 controller because the Xbox controllers are pieces of shit. Um, I'm not uh, how much? You, how many batteries you go through with your Xbox controllers? Not all that many, but I use mostly keyboard and mouse. So. Yeah. It's you go through a lot, and so it's like the PS5. You just plug it in and it's fine. Get yourself a what's uh, called as an ancient technology called a rechargeable battery. <laughs> Those things last like twelve Doc. minutes. They last like an hour, and then they last forty-five minutes. What kind of game are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> so, anything else you you had on there? Yeah, guys, I got plenty in here. <laughs> I got uh, Starfield's next update. It's gonna improve Vehicles. the photo mode. No. So you can find your character can finally smile in those pictures. I, I don't think the characters were not smiling because there was no technology. I think they were not smiling because they were in Starfield. Starfield smiles now for smile picture, Joe. Got Joe put the smile picture now. I was thinking now. about that too. I was gonna say, at least somebody's smiling playing this game. Yeah. Now you can make your character <laughs> and your companions match the mood of your shot. Bethesda tweeted. Did they say anything about vehicles? <laughs> no. <laughs> Vasco is getting new poses, too. Vehicles. I don't think I've ever no. taken one goddamn picture. We're adding facial expressions to photo mode. The only time we use photo mode is when we're trying to get clips for the reviews. Yeah. And that is pretty much it. I do not give the, a fuck. Did, they, did so somebody big, actually think this is going to be a, a great tweet? Update. Everyone's going to love this. Yes, they made this tweet. It's right here. I want to see you, the comments. You go put it up there in the Bethesda Game Studios <laughs> tweet. This was March 1st. Anyways, well, I mean, it is coming with – it is a patch. So March 6th, mm-hmm. uh, the, the update goes, and it has, let's see, quality of life improvements, some bug fixes – the scanner is getting an upgrade. Mission tracking is being improved, and you'll finally be able to smile in your photos. <laughs> you know who's not going to be playing that? <laughs> you know, Jim Carrey. This guy. <laughs> uh, little, little kid, Jim Carrey, is what I see to that. No. Great, Bethesda. Awesome. In other Bethesda news, the Fallout TV show producer says it's almost like we're Fallout 5. And so this was, they went and they adapted the Fallout story, and they worked with, uh, from the first conversation with Todd Howard, we were most excited about an original story, said the executive producer, the Todd Jonathan Howard? Nolan. This guy's done, this is Jonathan Nolan. Maybe he's the brother of the Batman Nolan. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, when the trailer is full of energy. So they're just excited. They're like, look, in Fallout in my career is the closest to the work we did in adapting Batman. Oh, it is. It is his brother, which he co-wrote with his brother, Christopher Nolan. Oh, okay. That's right. The Nolan brothers always work together. Uh, so maybe Christopher will come in and, and look at uh, maybe look at some of the Fallout stuff. 
Um, and we'll see if he gets a credit. Anyways, there's so much storytelling in the Batman universe, and there is no canonical version of it, so you're free to kind of invent your own. Um, but he was um, comparing that with the Fallout universe, uh, and went on to say, Each of the games is a discrete story, a different city, distinct protagonist with the same mythology. So our series set sits in relation to the games as the games sit in relation to each other. It's almost like we're Fallout 5. I don't want to sound presumptuous, but it's just a non-interactive version of it, right? So the Fallout uh, TV incarnation will follow some well-received video game adaptations recently like Castlevania, Arcane, and The Last of Us. You literally named the only good ones. (laughs) Is there any other good ones? Do we want to add Halo? You want to add Halo to this? Mortal Kombat Annihilation? (laughs) No. Well, that's TV TV series. Annihilation was a movie. Our, 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 uh, Arcane, Last of Us, Castlevania. I can't think of TV series that is a video game that is done well. So, right, yeah. right, okay. <laughs> As a, <laughs> so yeah. But you know, I actually am encouraged by the Fallout TV series, and I'm I've and well now more so than I know that Christopher Nolan's brother is is working on it, Jonathan Nolan, because maybe he he can ask his brother to come. He's like, hey man, you want to come over some beers? Can you fix this script for me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he, he's well, some of his movies. You are... tricked me. <laughs> Why? Well, yeah, I, I I gotta work. <laughs> You said I was gonna. We we're gonna drink some beers and, and hang out with the family. Just read that. Just read that. <laughs> Tell me what you think. All right, Fallout will be released on Prime Video on April twelfth. So we'll we'll review it for you guys. Amazon has a horrible fucking track record. So I don't know. Rings of Power. Yeah, exactly. Wheel of Time. Rings of Power. Wheel of Time. I think they've only done like one thing, one or two things right. Invincible. The boys. Right. Can you think of any others? No. no, but at least they're giving talented people money to to do this. Mm-hmm. Unlike the unknowns they gave to, they're like, we're going to spend a billion dollars or half a billion dollars on Lord of the Rings. Let's give it to people who've never done anything before. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong. And look how it turned out. Great. Mm-hmm. Well, like I think that Ghostbusters, the video game with all the original cast members doing their voice is Ghostbusters 3. They're saying that their Fallout TV show is Fallout 5. So it goes both ways. We'll see if it's a good story or not. I hope it's good. Because, again, I don't want to. So uh, that's it, guys. (laughs) Thank you all so much uh, for sticking with us during the news. And uh, check out the Opera browser. I demand you download it. There's no reason not to. It's free. It's easier on your system resources than something. It's got dark mode. It looks better on your eyes. And it has that little speed dial tab that shows you what are all the games coming up? What are all the free games available right now? What are, you know, integrated AI if you want to ask real dumb stuff like OJ does. <laughs> I don't know why you would do that, but that's just Joe. So. All right, guys. Thank you all. Sure. Click the link down below. It helps us. It shows that you all are engaging with our link. And we very much appreciate it if you click the link. And I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.